Hi guys, this is Clara Hudson of While They Play Designs, and on today's video tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a knit two together. If you take a look at my swatch here, you can see I did a knit two together decrease right here, and this is just a decrease that leans to the right in your work. And this stitch mirrors a slip slip knit, which is over on this side, and that leans to the left. So I'll show you how to do the knit two together, or the K2 tog. We're just gonna work over to where we're gonna place that decrease. So that, that decrease is gonna go into these two stitches here on my left hand needle. And normally when you knit, you knit into the front leg of your stitch like so. So we're doing the same thing, but with these two stitches, we're gonna go in with our right hand needle, left to right, going through that front leg of the first stitch. Get this where you can see it front leg of the first stitch, and then also go through the second stitch. So as you can see here, I only have those front legs on my needle. We did not go through the back legs or the back loops of the stitches. Okay, so after inserting through those two stitches, you just yarn over and pull through. So you can see here, we have that right lean in our decrease, and we've decreased two stitches to one. So normally in your pattern, if you don't want to interrupt your stitch count, you'll do a yarn over and it'll tell you whether to do that before or after your decrease. That just keeps it so that your stitch count is the same. If you are indeed decreasing your stitch count, you of course wouldn't need that yarn over in your work. So that's how we do a knit two together or a K2 tog. I hope this video helps you guys. Thanks for watching.